Oh, what's up guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. Haven't done one of these in a while, have I? Um, so this is box one. So, uh, you know, there was that whole, didn't want to buy knives, rest of 2022. Well, that, that went out the window real fast. But um, the day, I, I think it was like, I can't remember what day Shiro, does that give you a tip what this is? Shiro posted a picture of this and then no, I mean, maybe it was Shiro can't remember Shiro or whenever Shiro posts a picture you kind of know it's going to be dropping on recon one um I think I'd seen one maybe that morning and it was like the 26th when we were leaving that day and then didn't think anything about it you know we were on the road traveling in, um, on our fifth wheel going down to Texas. It just so happened I can't even, well, usually I do all the driving and the dog was kind of going insane and my wife was like, well, this is a straight stretch of interstate. Let me, let me drive for a while. I'm like, oh, all right, you know, just be careful. You know, when someone who's never pulled a trailer before or like a fifth wheel trying to watcher and make sure everything went a-okay and i had kind of forgotten about this like i said i knew i wasn't gonna i was gonna be on the road all day but anyway rambling rambling just so happens like i said it was she was driving and beck hit me up and i thought oh okay cool special edition this is the F3, I don't know, this is the F3 NS, I don't know, F3 Aquatic in Van X37 with the multi-row bearing system. I think there's another Aquatic something or, I can't remember what the full, maybe it's just the Aquatic, F3 Aquatic. Kind of cool, this one's, I don't know what makes it a special edition, what they consider just because it's in a colored carbon fiber and it comes with a bead. Um, please not be on the knife, oh it's on the knife, I'm going to take it off. So, another Shiro thing. F3 Aquatic, Van X37, Deep Sea Techno Carbo is what they call it. Um, put that sticker on my safe or something. So, here we go. And you know, and of course all my knives are still packed up. I took a bunch of, uh, where's my F95 at? Took a ton of stuff on the trip on the F95. So, so it's similar, so similar in shape and size to uh, F95, the F3 is, but just a little thicker because of the carbon scales and the titanium liners. But I really like this style. This it feels good in hand. Ooh. And I've never had a knife in in Banex. And mine is sharp. A lot of guys, I think a lot of guys said theirs didn't come very sharp. Mine is sharp. <laughs> yep, it's sharp. Um, this knife, and this one's even, because it's a little fatter, it's even fuller, more full, and more fuller in the hand. Um, liner lock, obviously. get it to break in but it's kind of a blue green gray is there a green in there I'm kind of colorblind maybe it's teal black white shell with the dog blue pocket clip I will probably take this off probably cut it resale blue backspacer I'm not really a lanyard guy, even though I kind of leave them on my Chris Reeves for some reason. So maybe I'll leave it on this one for a while. And the wife is yelling at the dog, so we're going to cut this one short. Um, not really sh familiar with Van X37. I, I mean, I, I'm, I know what it is, but I've, I've never had a knife in Van X before, so this, that's a first. 
even though this is a carbon knife, it's got good weight because of the titanium liners and the backspacer. God, I like the, I like the blues, man. It's cool. It's different. So the grind's a little bit different, you can see. Um, it looks thinner, but it's just kind of kind of chamfered. And it's kind of scalloped there, but yeah. Really, Shiro's are great knives, guys. These things are just stupid smooth. And that one does, they both feel great, but it's funny that they make all these my hottie is somewhere. They, it's just different variations on the design, really. The same style, just different variations on it. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't wanna have to take the whole knife apart right now to get that dumb lanyard off. I could untie it, but I'm sure some collector or whoever, if I ever decide to get rid of it, will want it. But, I don't know. I probably won't, because all the Shiro's so far, even my expensive, um, soft overkill, is a, a knife that gets carried and used. You know, it's already got a couple scratches on the blade, so don't see this one being any different. These were limited to 100, so pretty lucky I got one. Thanks, Beck, for spending my money um and letting me know because like i said i i i had mentioned i wanted an f3 and then they dropped these pictures and i thought ah, all right cool man that's different than the regular f3s and just marble carbon or whatever there you see the blue pivot collar yeah this is a these things are just insane absolutely insane so like I said, get a, should I take it apart to take that off or just cut it or untie it, leave it? You guys let me know. I just not a lanyard guy, especially a big, long, dangly one. So that's all I got guys. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.